1997 Sport Nautique Ford 351 motor GT40 One of the coolest looking boats on the lake Eye turner every time You can ski You can wakeboard You can actually do all the sports which is pretty awesome Comes with an extra prop, two fat sacks. It is a open bow. Has a custom oversized bimini, which is closed right now. Has the Pro Flight Tower, which was recently redone by the factory. has the teak platform has all LED lights aluminum diamond plate on the fenders aluminum rims chrome plated all four with the spare two of the tires are brand new from last summer Registration is good through 2017. Some of the upgrades. It's got the uh, newer version Nautique drop downs, which are pretty cool. Saves your behind when you're sliding over the edge. When the bimini is up, you have no straps that are coming from here down to here, which is pretty typical for most of these boats. I took those off and made it so it only has tension bars from the front and you can see that it has this tension bar right there that mounts to the tower which gives you a ton of clearance which is really really good for when you want to put your ice chest over the edge of the boat you just simply bring it right over here and you don't longer have the uh, straps in your way which is really really awesome we come to the front we have the Fulton whatever version this is, I forget. It was one of the top of the line Fultons available from the, uh, for lifting this bad boy. It also has uh, disc brakes that I put in. And it has this really great latch, which is as simple as that. Jack it up and you're off. And then when you're putting it on, you can leave it like that and it actually lifts, lifts and pops. It won't, won't do it right now, it's on the tongue, but it just lifts and pops up, which is also really cool. The trailer is a DHL trailer, which was rebuilt um, about five, six years ago. Uh, it's all repainted. The brake system is all redone. It's got two disc brakes. Uh, as we go through the back, see what we got on the inside. All right, I forgot to take my shoes off. <laughs> make everybody nauseous while I'm bouncing the camera around uh, the carpet is in pretty flawless condition um, all of the little accessory items bolts screws throughout the last uh, five ten years have been replaced with stainless steel so there's almost no rust you'll find on this boat uh, a couple of seasons ago I took the racks that you would normally find on these boats and put the Air Nautique spinners, which are awesome. A little glue in that little spot right there, otherwise it's fine. Right, those are really great. Check out the other spinner as well. I think these are $1,500 brand new for the pair. Um, and it's got a four six by nines in here under this little cover. They are the Polk Momo uh, carbon fiber six by nines. You're probably thinking why carbon fiber? Well that's what G that's what the uh, Nautiques came out with a couple of seasons back before they switched over to JL Audio and um, they're the marine waterproof or water resistant speakers from, from 
polk, which are absolutely sick. Back on the sides, on all four sides, they are four by six um, full range speakers on the sides, so you get a ton of ton of sound. The gauges were all replaced a few seasons back. Um, I chose to go away from the nautique gauges and went with these really cool simple black with red pinstripes. Um, I did it at 208 hours. I have the original gauge, or I have 208 hours on these new gauges. I have the original gauges left, so you can see what the original hours were. Uh, we have an Alpine deck. Uh, it's not the newer kinds with built-in Bluetooth and everything like that. It still has to USB uh, direct wire to your phone. Uh, new handle. The windows uh, were all repowder coated right around the time that I had the tower repowder coated. The interior has been redone in the last five years, so it's pretty flawless. Our seats outside of a little twig, really great shape. Simply pop that off. That is the pump for the fat sacks, which I have actually only used a few times. This boat throws such a killer wake, which is what it's known for. The Sport Nautique actually throws one of the best wakes and for wakes for wakeboarding than, than any boat, even some of the newer boats. I've had a lot of pros in this boat, and this is what they always talk about is how this particular model and era uh, got it right and few boats have since. We lift up, so I'm real big on uh, balance sound. So I created a custom 8 inch subwoofer side enclosure here and a dual 8 inch one right down here, which is pretty cool. There's an amplifier on top of it. I closed off that enclosure to make it all look more, more, uh, I'll make it look better. And then there's your fire extinguisher. You got your, your life jackets way over there. Now uh, they're tucked in there. And you have your jump seat, which can be moved just about anywhere. Typically leave it right there by the driver because the ice chest is normally rolling right by the right right behind the driver, so you can put the jump speed typically in one or two places. It's got the full ski locker, which is typical for this era. We keep the buoys down there. Keeps the buoys nice and dry. We like big buoys, that way we're not bumping onto the docks or boats next to us when we're tied up. All of the shocks, I think except for this one, have actually all been replaced. As we go up to the front, got a glove box for those that care. Um, we have, I have a custom spare battery enclosure, which is for the radio only, which is right in here. You're not going to get a good view of it, but it is a, about a 70 pound battery. Uh, needless to say, you can run your stereo for probably about three or four hours non-stop without their boat running and not run the battery dry. Uh, that was a pretty big deal to me at the time. Our open bow. Uh, cushions on the bottom have all been redone. Um, they're actually really, really firm, which is good. The original cushions were kind of flimsy and tired. We pop this open. Got your anchor. Got your carpet. It's a simple little canoe anchor which is plenty for this boat unless you're in some real bad chop in which case your boat shouldn't be in the water. At least not this boat. These boats didn't really, were not really built for white caps and chop. Look at it from the front. Mirror is actually, I think, two seasons old. Um, get a good look of traffic and the flight tower. And scroll on back to our motor. 
this little chair right here. Uh, seatings are nine or a hundred or twelve hundred and fifty pounds. I don't know many people that are that skinny, but you know, that's the math. Definitely held more weight than that in this boat. So the boat engine is clean enough to eat off of, literally and figuratively. A couple of seasons ago, I took the whole thing apart, put it all back together, replaced the heads. That was why I reset the, uh, the gauges. 208 hours on it, took a season off to get married, came back out. Boat was having some fuel line challenges last season, so replaced all the injectors, replaced the the lower fuel cell, replaced and upgraded to the main bigger fuel cell. That thing alone is, I think, four or five hundred dollars, maybe more. And then my problem began to kind of jump around, and it uh, finally ended with uh, literally the last run of the season where we were just dying out once the boat got hot for no good reason, brought it home, uh, got zero compression out of one of our cylinders, and um, I'm very mechanical of taking things apart and putting it back together, but not necessarily diagnosing. So it is either a head gasket, which nothing's leaking on the outside, or it is a valve, um, but I don't hear any valves slamming around in there. Um, it could need a, uh, or could be the rings, but you'd have to take the head off to do that. I didn't want to do all of that. Um, and so here we are. We are looking at a gorgeous boat that would easily sell, in my opinion, for $20,000, $23,000 in perfect working condition. And uh, right now it, it needs a home with somebody who is mechanically inclined take it over um, knowing that everything every single thing on this boat is turnkey um, once this engine challenge is done and this is either going to be a simple little head fix which can be done in any shop or it's gonna be something down at the ring level um, which is gonna require a leak down test once you get the heads off uh, why didn't I crack the heads off because uh, there's a bunch of gaskets that you have to do and these are marine gaskets uh, so it would have been like you know $150 in marine gaskets that I'd have to replace uh, once I cracked it off and um, I just didn't want to commit to that um, this go around um, we have absolutely loved everything about this boat um, and sometimes things come to a close so I'll close all this up it's got the ski pylon uh, something else that's pretty neat is I installed these custom little clicky things here. And what they do is they pop. It allows me to lift up. And the reason why that matters is because I built a custom boat cover which can actually trailer on this boat around the tower, completely around here, completely around here. That lifts up and it can enclose uh, while you're driving. Uh, you will almost never see anything like that. Um, the original covers that came on these boats were similar to that. And so what I did was I, I, uh, I custom built one myself. And um, it's actually over there on the lawn. You'll see some pictures. It's just drying out because I sprayed it down today. Um, you'll, get, you'll see some pictures with it on. Um, but it has uh, definitely made some really long driving hauls. Um, and it's time. So, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to call me, send me an email. Um, the asking price, in my opinion, is absurdly low, given that you can replace this entire engine with a brand new PCM motor for $9,000, which would be insane because you don't need all of the marine parts. I've recently replaced all the marine parts. So if you just took the long block and which would probably run you about four thousand dollars out the door and then you installed it give it a couple of weekends um you know a person would probably be in it be in it another five thousand dollars in total on top of the asking price 
and you've got a pretty, pretty good steel, um, in my opinion. Um, it would be probably the best looking performing boat on the internet at this year. So, um, I've turned the sound system on, but that never shows up well in video. Uh, what you'll appreciate it is it's sick. It's a sick sound system. It is really loud. Um, it is really clear. I've got plenty of footage of wakeboarders um, where they can hear what they're doing, and you can see it on the GoPro. And uh, nobody ever complains about audio in this boat. Um, so there you go.